The Korean won reached its strongest level in more than a year, becoming the second best performing currency in Asia after the Malaysian ringgit. But a strong won could also imply bad news for local exporters already facing uncertainties of the sluggish global export market. Kim Hyesung has the details. 1,095.4. That's how the Korean won closed on Wednesday session against the U.S. dollar, below the 1,100 mark and the lowest level since June 2015. This comes as the local won extended gains after Standard & Poor's upgraded Korea's sovereign credit rating to a record high of AA on Monday, leading to a growing appetite for Korean shares and an inflow of foreign capital. The weakening of the dollar is another reason. The value of the dollar fell over the last couple of months, with global markets assuming that the U.S. won't hike rates by September this year based on poor economic indicators. The Korean won has now become the second best performing Asian currency in emerging markets so far this year after Malaysia's ringgit. But this could be bad news for Korean exporters who have been posting negative growth for more than 19 consecutive months. And a stronger won can only fuel concerns of losing global competitiveness. Korean manufacturers of semiconductors and steel pay with dollars. If the won continues to strengthen, profits are only bound to drop. The 1100 mark is widely considered a psychologically important barrier, and analysts expect the continuous strengthening of the won could soon trigger intervention from foreign exchange authorities. Kim Hyesung, Arirang News.